Oh, my mic has been on this whole time, hasn't it? Oh, that's about right. Hi. Damn it. Uh, this is fine. Don't don't think about it too hard. Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, duh. there we go. I still know how to do this. Yay. Oh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, how we doing? Hi, Adam. Long time no see. Uh, I don't really know what this is gonna be, but I just wanted to. I know I did one similar ish last year, a New Year's thing, just to kind of hang out, talk about stuff, maybe draw a little bit, who knows. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I apologize if I look ratty as heck. I went to the groceries and got sweaty, so I took a shower. So here I am. Ah, hi guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Because it has been way too long since I last... When did I last stream? When was my last stream? Let's look real quick. My last stream was in November. <laughs> for Pokemon. Um, it's been a minute. Uh, oops. <laughs> um, but to be real, I've just been super burnt out the entire back half of this year. I've had little to no actual... Um, Desire to do things, so I've just been taking it easy. Ah! Pot champ indeed. Do I still have? Till about noon 30, I take it? Yeah, probably. Give or take. Uh, thanks, Chris. I still hate it. Uh, send help, Mitten stole my chair. Yeah, uh, it happens. I don't know where. Yeah, now it goes currently here. Let's get cat cam real quick. There he is. Hanging out. Little guy. Little fella. He got a bigger bed uh, for Christmas since he outgrew the old one. He's He's gotten way too long. So he has a new bed. Yeah, hit. Because, <laughs> like, he did that even before I put the bed there. He'll just sit in the middle of the floor and sulk. Um, so I put the bed there because he seems to like it. I don't, I don't know. It, the boy's broken. It's fine. Um, but yeah, probably about till noon 30 or so, depending on how much energy I have and what I plan on doing. Um, more or less, I just kind of wanted to <laughs> refuse to use any of them. Yeah. Um, he loves to just kind of sit around on any surface that he can get a hold of. Like, he'll just sit here and stare at me for hours, like, if I'm just gaming or watching something. Just waiting for me to either pay attention or shove him off. Um. Yeah. Right now, I think he's just sulking. It's fine. Um. But yeah, just kind of go over the year and talk about stuff I've done, stuff I want to do, plans for next year, stuff like that. Took Ben's a year on <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's gotten used to cat beds because originally he absolutely despised any of them and would only sit on uh, pillows or my lap. But he's he's grown up. He's gotten big, and now he can't fit in my lap. Keep changing them. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The perfect bed spots are hard to find. Um, every once in a while, he'll just nap in the chair back there or just knock shit off of my shelves and sleep there. It's it's wonderful. I love that for me. Um, yes. Cat ownership! That, that's something that happened this year. They do love knocking things over. I've got... I got some, some lights for my shelves uh, around Black Friday. And you can see right there that strip that's, like, kind of curved. Uh... It is the all of the lights are supposed to be like yellowish. Um, these three or so are red because the connection like right next to it, he clawed at it like the first day that I got it and broke those three specific lights and like that's where the lights lead in. 
So, yeah. Lo love being a cat dad. They do do things sometimes. Um, I just, I have an extra strip that came with it. I just haven't bothered to replace it. Um, but yeah. Um, that'd be my laundry. <laughs> love technology. Um, but yeah. Um, I just, I just kind of wanted to chat, hang out with you guys, because it, it's been a hot minute. I know I talk to most of you in real life all the time, but still, it's it's nice to nice to get to chat every once in a while, you know, in a way where I can talk at people <laughs> instead of having to carry a conversation. Um, but yeah, just just talk about, go over some of the stuff that I did this year, how I feel about it. Um, and I guess I guess the big one is I became a cat dad. I'm very very happy to be a cat dad. Because, my god, does he both raise and lower my stress levels. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you. He's scratching his neck. It's fine. I did give birth to a cat, it's true. It was very painful and, honestly, a little traumatizing. Um, but, I love him. He's a little goofball. He's... I wouldn't replace him for anything. So... Um, but other than that, creatively, I've been so burnt out over the past, like, half a year, That's, which is why I haven't really streamed or done a short. I think, I think, I'm pretty sure everyone in here is on the Patreon, so you know that I've just kind of been struggling. And I apologize. I do want to give you guys your money's worth. I know it's more of a glorified tip jar than anything else at this point. But hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be able to get back to doing shorts and stuff sometime in the new year. I've got some work things and other freelance stuff that might get in the way of some of that, but we'll, we'll have to see. Because I haven't... I don't know when the last time I touched the Mario Sunshine short was. Uh, God. That was probably, like, early this year. Probably, like, March or so. Um. Probably the last time I streamed it. Um. One thing I did do that I enjoyed was the little Pokemon shorts. Those were fun. Um. Just doing some like little tiny things that are like goofy and still animated and still take effort it's, it's pretty fun um like as much as i like doing the longer form stuff and as good as that stuff apparently tends to do uh shoot i think the small of short for something that i knocked out in like an hour or two if it's at like 8k views which is like that's nothing, that's nothing to sneeze at, <laughs> especially for, like, I'm surprised. I, I want to do a Claude Sire one, but I guess there's a part of me that's like, um, do I want to just, re I think I did a sketch for a Claude Sire. I think I- here, let me find it real quick. The part of this is I kind of want to go through all of the animated stuff that I did this year and, and talk about some of it. Because, yeah, I did- I did the- let me see, is it in the looper file? It's not. I think I did- I think I made a sketch, it might be on my iPad. I will be right back, I need to- um, buh, 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 buh. yeah, let me grab it real quick. <laughs>
did some looper sketches. But where would um the be here? It's the Macy's drawing. also commission work. I apologize, this is gonna be me just looking through all of my bullshit trying to find a single thing. It's there. I know I've, I've I've sketched it somewhere. I think it's in the Patreon chat. Um, let me look. Oh, there's another one. Um, oh, it was a Photoshop thing. Okay, I don't know where it is, but uh, here is. See if this actually works. Tablet. There we go. I did this sketch. That's that's all I've done. I had this idea for it, but something about this still felt a little too too easy, I guess, in a way. Um Like I would kind of want it to be something a little more, because I do love these guys so much. Um I did catch a shiny one, which I was very happy about. That was my first shiny in Scarlet and Violet, it was a, a shiny Wooper. I have not evolved him because I don't like Claude Sire's shiny, but, um, yeah. I, I, because we named the one that I caught the first stream Oopa Toopa. I named him Oopa Threepa. Um, he's very sweet and I love him very much. Um, but, um, I would kind of want it to be like, Shiny Claude Sire does look weird. Um, if I did something with Claude Sire and Wooper, I'd want it to be, like, not really a short, and not really, like, a little tiny Pokemon meme like the other one was. More like, a something set to, like, some, like, kind of silly, goofy music of just them doing little goofy stuff. Like, three or four shots of them, like, doing funny little things. I guess I guess if that makes sense um, because I, I do I do love him so much even if it's just like playing around in mud or something yeah like a little slice of life episode exactly see yeah you understand that is something I would want to do um, okay that being said let me real quick make sure that I'm not let's sort by date um that's another thing uh i started a gimmagool uh short that i never finished or haven't finished yet and don't know if i will but i have let me open that up i can show that off uh at this point this is just like kind of a year in review type deal um i had this idea for um just the Gimmagool, and he's he's got the Gabagool. Yeah, like side-by-side -side animations of how it, Yeah, exactly, something like that. Um, I had an idea for the Gimmagool getting the Gabagool. Like, it, it, it was the whole, like, Link has the chest, and it opens. I think I animated the chest opening. I did. I think that was fun. That was pretty fun. Yeah, I had the gif of the chest doing that. This is as far as I this is as far as I got because I didn't. I had the idea of Link opening the chest, and then I didn't feel like animating Link opening the chest. Um, and then he just he just gets it, it, it's just a little guy in his hand, and he's got Gabagool, and he says Gabagool. Um, and that's all that is. I'll probably finish this at some point, probably next month, if I can remember to. But yeah. That's all I had for that. Um, let me, because there is stuff here that I don't want to show off, uh, be it commission work or stuff like that. Um, let's just go over some of the stuff that I made. Um, 
we've got... And if anyone had questions or anything about, like, process for any of this stuff, because I know that's something I kind of did for Patreon, is little bits of breakdowns on how some of this stuff works, um, and just, like, details about things. Uh, if anyone has questions, feel free to just ask it, because otherwise I'll just, I'll just go through my stuff and talk. <laughs> uh, first off, I have the small of short, but I don't know where it is. Um, buh, 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 buh. Is small of here? Small of is here, but I also put the palmy stuff in here for some reason, so it's wrong. Um, Lechonk. Lechonk was fun to do. This one, this is one that's like, hey, I know exactly what I want to do. This goofy little pig and this goofy little pig meme. Um, and one, yeah, I, a lot of fun with these frames. This was a lot of fun. He was a goofy little guy. You only see it for like literally a frame, but this is probably my favorite frame in the whole thing. Just because he's being squeezed and he's dying. It's fine. Don't worry about him. He's okay. Um, apparently I did the shadow on its own separate layer. I'm sure that was fun. Yeah, that tracks. This is actually fun to do. I, I liked this one. Um, I don't know if I have the sketch for it. If that's in here or not. Oh, yeah. That's something I didn't use. I had a whole... Before it was like, do the the phone animate or do the house exploding. Uh, I was going to use just like a hand animated explosion. Um, I didn't end up doing that. So the the stuff is still there. It's just turned off. Um, fun little insight. Ah, cows. Hi. Hi, cows. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> uh, I think we have... We have it in BTTV. We have the cow dance. I don't know what we do. Dang it. Oh, well. Hi, cows, regardless. Um, this was, this, this was a fun one to do. Real goofy little thing. I have dragged my timeline out of the window. Let me put it back, please. There we go. What? Uh, hi, cows. I hope you're having a good New Year's. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> ah, you, you got me. I'm so glad that I added you as an admin. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, this was pretty simple. I want to. I don't know if I erased it or not. I guess I did. I had originally just a sketch version of this where it was just a hand dragged out. Um, but it's not there. I guess I got rid of it. That's too bad. Um, small of, again, this one was really simple. Um, trying to track down this song for this one. Oh, gosh, dang it. Let me, oh, cool. Um, small of, yes. This one was done in about... Probably an hour, hour and a half, because yes, Elbot indeed. Um, just because I want to say Rory was like, "Oh my gosh, I love this guy," and I was like, "Yeah, I also love this guy," but he's the embodiment of anxiety, so I'm going to make him the embodiment of anxiety. Um, and I I spent like a good like 15 minutes of it of that like hour and a half trying to figure out what this song was called because i i was i remember thinking oh i remember that song from the meme of like the seal spinning in circles but i couldn't remember if it was a seal <laughs> or not i was like looking up uh spinning animal meme and like trying to figure out what songs there were and it, I, it, it took me forever and it was such a pain to try and track down the song and I managed to do it. It's called Maniacs of Noise by Happy Christmas. Um, which, Happy Christmas, everyone. Um, and then the, the, the one vine of the kid getting smacked in the ass and then screaming. Um, of course. 
Um, but yeah, uh, also very simple. It's just a few frames looped and then I want to say these are all individual frames. No, I loop back and forth. It's between two, but I size them up as they go. But still, um, he's a fun little guy to draw. Especially, <laughs> the anticipation of it is really good. Just, bleh. I think I did a few different versions of like the anticipation. It's like, I think I tried to lead into it a little more and it looked wrong. Uh, yeah, shiny Lechonk is just bright pink. He's real cute. Um, he's, he's a cute little guy. Um, let's see. Not not really too much else here. Uh, lots of layer copies. Um, some of you may not know, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Lechonk is just a global Twitch emote because of course he's just a little guy. Um. Pokemon has a few global Twitch emotes, I think. Um, but that is one of them. The merch area is password locked. Sob. Aw. Poor cows. How, how will cows survive? Um. Oh, yeah, my merch area. I need to take that off. Um. That's because I don't offer it anymore, and the company that I was doing merch through uh, no longer does merch. So, yeah. oops, I, I completely forgotten to take that off. Sorry, cows. Uh, rip in merch, indeed. Which I am wearing some, just my little Katamari cousin uh, shirt. Um, or Prince shirt. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all for small of. Yeah, it is! Hi, Jim! It's not my middle initial, but you, you correct. Yeah, yeah, good Quay Frog Socks, indeed. Uh, real ones remember. Um, that, I think, is it for Small Liv. We did have Palmy, which I think was the worst performing of the bunch. Which I'm fine with, I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it, because... Uh, it, initially... Yeah, it is nice. We're just we're just we're just hanging out. <laughs> Chatter got a Samsung phone. Favorite new gen mon? Um absolutely Tinkaton. No question. Big hammer? Absolutely peak. Peak Pokemon. Tinkaton sweep. Which I will um I don't think I can show this yet, but I will give y'all a sneak peek. Um let's see. I'll have it open for a second. Sandy Shocks is really good. I don't know which thing it'll open it with. Um, or what window it'll open on, but we'll see. I do actually unironically like Sandy Shocks a lot. Watchful. Watchful's really good. Uh, cute little bird. I don't know how I feel about Kill a Watchful. The name is really cute. I like that a lot. Um, oop, blender, there we go, oh, the texture's broke, oh, that's fun, why is it using the, okay, hold on, you, you've, you... this is fine, let me just, where is, where, where, where did it go, did I accidentally overwrite the textures with the render? Oh no, I think I did. Wait, hold on. I think I accidentally did. Oh, I absolutely did. <laughs> okay. Oops. Let me just, uh, fix this real quick. Uh. This, this is fine. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Chat, don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's okay. I. Uh, the Dunsparce is also really good. How much do you get a calm Sandy destroying a Magnezone? I don't... Do I still have my commission info? In here? I guess I don't. Uh, if you go to Ko-Fi... Uh, me... Ko-Fi.com slash... Play. That is where my commission info is. You can feel free to page through that. And... And do the... Asking for the bit? Yeah, sure. I believe you. 
uh, Vitamin C Bringer. It's a very good name. Um, uh, I need to pick a tough that PNG. Yes, I would like to do that. Please refresh the image. Uh, oh god, I don't know if I have... I've got a little water left. Thank you. Um, I don't know where the fitness glasses are up there. Uh, I need to get water before I do that. Let me... Open. Refresh. Where is Tinkaton? Come on. Where are you? Oh. There we go. There she is. Uh, some of the textures are a little clipped. I think this is an old version of the model. But, yeah. I did this for a collab. But, yeah. That's all you get to see. I'm not technically supposed to show that yet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah! Close. Don't save. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, sneak peek, etc., etc. It's fine. I didn't post it to social social media, so it's it's okay. Um, animations. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Le Chonk. Yes, Le Chonk. Um, I'm pretty sure I animated most of this on stream. I think. Um, or at least did a fair bit of it. Uh, oh. Thank you for the gift sub for cows. Cows, you have a bunch of emotes now. So feel free to... I don't know how on Twitch you are, but feel free to use funny little emotes and little pictures I've drawn. So enjoy. Yeah! Welcome! Welcome, cows. Use 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 all them funny little pictures. And have have a, have a good time. In an anime where Tinkaton uses a Corviknight Scythe? That is really cool. I've seen a lot of cool art with... Um, Take a ton, uh, just being like a, a blacksmith, like using cool, like, forged cork knight weapons. That's always been really cool. Yeah, you do have a little clay badge. It's true. Just a little guy. I can't redraw those, because I don't think I draw myself like that anymore. <laughs> but still, regardless, um, follow me. I'm kind of proud of this. I, it's got some good motion to it. This black and white impact frame is still pretty funny. Um, I didn't even realize the things showed up through that. Um, but yeah, this was the worst performing one. I, I, I'm fine with it. It was very cute, but man, did not anyone care about Palmy. I really only kind of did it because it was like, they've revealed three Pokemon at this point, other than the starters. I'm gonna do all of them. <laughs> and then I tried to keep that up. And that's where... Um... Belly Bolt, Refi Eye, Grievard, all that comes from. Um... Small of the Sean got all the love. Yeah, exactly. And then it's really only three Poke... Yeah, that's the only three Pokemon that were in the game. Um, and then they did Belly Bolt. And I did this in an absolute uh frenzy i oh yeah this one was a little weird um there was some motion that i wanted to do with um the hand so instead of being animated in photoshop uh except for the mouth the only thing that i animated in here was the mouth um Toxic stall team. Ooh. That sounds like a nightmare <laughs> to go against. My god. Hell yeah. Um, the only thing that I animated in here was the mouth. And the rest was all done just with lots of layers in Premiere. Um, which made it a bit of a nightmare. Um, but it's it's fine. So I've got all of these different Toadhead. Toadhead 2, because I think I forgot some lines. And then Toadhead with Mouse, when I was going to just have it tied to each other. And I've got a fun little cursor that I could probably use for something else. And then the thumbnail and all that stuff. This is how most of my folders look. Usually a Premiere file of PSD and then a bunch of exports and thumbnails. 
Um, poison salt cure infliction. Oof! Oof! That's always fun. I don't remember what this MLV is. Oh, this is just... Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Bye. Uh, this is just the buff. So that I could use that as a transparent layer. He's gone. He's dead. His mouth left last. Um, but yeah, this one was simple. I made it the day he was revealed because it was one of those uh, Aerie kicked my teeth in six times. To be fair, if Aerie is the one I'm thinking of, I would let her kick my teeth in six times. Um, you didn't hear that from me. Uh, but before that, I did the Wooper Breakdance. Um, which I was really, really proud of. Uh, it's gonna take a while because it has a lot of layers. <laughs> because this is probably a good idea of a good reference point if anyone is curious as to what my my longer process looks like. Um, with like a bunch of different things happening in the scene. It, it's it's a beefy boy. Um, had psychic officers on my team for that fight, and the thing decimated Aries' team. Oh hell yeah, Espartha or Espathra, that one. Yeah, I keep wanting to call it Espartha, but it's not Espartha. It's El Espathra because in, she's an Espath or an Empath, something. Psychic ostrich. It's cool. I think it's funny that the little is just like a psychic flying ostrich egg. I think that's pretty funny. Esposito? Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Okay. Here we go. Here is the layers nightmare. Um, so as you can see, it's broken down pretty heavily. I want, I think, so I don't usually work this cleanly. <laughs> I want to say I went back afterwards and cleaned it up for Patreon, which if you didn't know, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you get access to these Photoshop documents where you can look through them and study how I work if you want to know that kind of thing. Um, but I don't think that's in the final thing, but I think there was... Oh, yeah. His tail is still there for a layer. Huh, that's interesting. Um, yes, the lad. So here, here is an idea of how I work. Uh, I did do a version of this that had a Patreon shout-out. I don't know where it is. Where is the Patreon shout-out? There's the Patreon shout-out. I think I did send this to some places. Um, but yeah, you also get your name here, if that's a thing. Yeah. If you're the $25 tier, you get a little doodle of yourself and your name in gold. Um, but yeah, to give you an example of how complicated even something as silly and little as this is, here's a breakdown of the layers. You have the dance line, which is um, the spin, I believe. Oh, this yeah, this is just the actual dancing part. Um, I named it line, and then I colored on that same layer, uh, because I'm an idiot. Um, and this is just the same few frames repeated, etc., etc., as long as it needs to. You also have the dance sketch, which is the same thing, but the sketch of it before I cleaned it up and retimed some things and stuff like that. Uh, we also have the whoop head line, which is... The lines of this one I actually did separately. Okay, I have a line layer and a color layer. And these are copy pasted a bunch of times. Uh, these are blank just because if you copy paste in Photoshop, if you have things timed out, let's see. If I let me demonstrate, this is one of the annoying things that I have to work with. So, say I have this new layer here. This layer 848. That's how many layers I have in this file. Uh, 847. So if I clip this 
and try and copy and paste. Well, hold on. I need to have it so that it's in a video group. So there we go. If I try and take these two and copy and paste, it'll all go back to the beginning. No matter how much you do. So you need, if you want this layer to be here, you go to the beginning of where that layer is, and then you slice it there. And then you just need this blank spot in the beginning. And that's how, that's how you get around that. And so now, if I wanted to, I can copy, paste, 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 paste. There you go. That is how that works. It's a nightmare. Um, but that is why you have these layers that are just long and absolutely empty. Um, and so we've got all of these breakdance layers. Here, let me bump this around so you can kind of see it a little better. Let me turn, collapse you. We've got the dance line, the dance sketch. We've got whooper headline, which is... Whoop. Let's go back here. Which is the lines for whooper's head. And underneath that, I want to say I duplicated it. Because I was originally going to do it with this, like, bluish line color. And then I realized that it didn't really stand out as much as I wanted. So I... So I overlaid the color into, like, a darker blue. Because I don't think that's black. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a dark blue. It's fine. Um, and then I duplicated that when I was done retiming everything, and then colored it in. And that's what Whoop Head Color was. Um, the head part, or at least this, this little march part, was done mostly with just drawing it in pieces and moving it around um, as opposed to the dance itself which is all singular keyframes going in order um, and then same thing for the body it's just a layer for the line and then a layer for the color and then same thing for the tail but I think the tail was just one layer um, Quagsire is just one layer because he don't do anything he fat and he just sit there and then the background, I believe, is a bunch of things. We've got a set for these ripples, which those are animated on their own. A set for Quagsire's ripples, which they're keyframed out on a different time, I think, to make them different. Give him a bit of a different size to it. Yeah, so as you can see, these don't match up perfectly. These are slight, Quagsire's ripples are slightly longer. Uh, and trying to figure out how to do that math without making them not match up in the end is very hard. Uh, Quagsire's shadow, that's on layer to kind of give him a little bit of, hey, he's not just a little thing. Uh, Whooper's shadow. Uh, I had this overlay, which I don't know what that's for. Oh, that may have been for trying to get the rock to look a little more blue. Um, I think I would have just clipping mask, turn that on, and then turn down the opacity. Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't know why I would have done that. Uh, we've got the rock, we've got the underwater part of the rock, we've got this, which I guess was just color adjusting some of the trees in the back. Um, and then the entire back layer is one thing. Oh, that's weird. I didn't do the trees as a separate layer, so you can see it's a little bit jank in some spots where I tried to recolor. Yeah, you can see it's not great. Yeah, it's 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 a lot to keep track of, which is why I do it very sparingly. Uh, but it is fun. It's rewarding to see that, hey, I made the little guy do the thing. Um, some shore colors, some shore ripples, those were animated. And then just a water layer. And there you go. And that's all that is. Um, and then we do have a sketches layer. I'm not entirely sure what that would be. I don't know if I sketched out the whole thing or not. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we had 
yeah, just a layout for the whole thing, figuring out where that that stuff goes. Yeah, I had a professor in school tell me that tweeting was cheating, so she taught us to animate exclusively in Photoshop. Yes, it is a real key stream. It's me, hello. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Happy 18 months. Uh, we're just going over stuff I did in the year and talking about it. Um, and then I did make a uh, gay pride blooper. That was fun. I think I posted him on, on Twitter because a friend asked me to. There he is. He thinks he did like homicide. Exactly. Precisely. And yeah, this was just the original sketch for it, and then I made it a thing. Um, this was one of the more complicated things I did this year, I think. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that is the most complicated thing I did this year. Um, I, I was gonna do something with this, but I never did. Uh, I did do your guys' fight stick art. It was fun. Um, not overly complicated, though. It was an illustration. It was sick. I'm very proud of it. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I did a thing for Monster Hunter, and I was going to make a short from it, but then I got too distracted playing Monster Hunter and never actually did it. <laughs> As is my want. Where is he? Where'd you go? Castellos, where are you? Yeah, there he is. I think I was supposed to be a... I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. But I was gonna do a... a, a sunbreak short. And I did... A, or at least something for... Slash about the demo. But I never got to it. So I guess I'll show off some sketches and stuff. I, I had my hunter when I used to wear this specific Zenogre armor. Uh, a couple doodles with that. I did this cool little painting that I don't think I ever finished of the jungle area. That was cool. Um, someday I might go back and do this, but for now I think I think I'm satisfied just kind of showing off stuff. Is this Wind Waker Island? It might as well be. Yes. Um, that would be another fun one. Mic sounds good? Hell yeah. Thank you. Head pass for Mini You got it. <laughs> there he is. I'm so happy for him. Um, I may come back to this, may not. It depends. Um, I don't know what I would do about Sunbreak. Um, and Wind Waker's another one where it's like, I love that game, but... I don't want to step on, like, Scott Falco's toes and stuff like that. I don't know. It's something I, I less and less concerned about just because it's like, you know, just do a thing if you want to do a thing. But, like, eh. Um, yeah. This is something I never finished. I think I posted the Astalos by himself. Uh, I did draw little epic gamer glasses for him. I don't think I ever posted those. Um, but yeah, that was something that I considered doing, and then got distracted playing Sunbreak, and never actually finished. Um, let me close out some stuff, just so I can free up some RAM. Okay. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? I did the Grafia short. Um, this is one that should have been super simple. But I made it super complicated <laughs> by overthinking. Um, uh, I also, this is one where while I was working on this, uh, my entire computer shorted. And I lost like a full day's worth of progress. I want to say I had the entire thing lined and not colored. And then 
computer what you could put, and I, all I had was the sketch saved. So I had to completely reline and recolor, and so that set me back like a day of just being like, oh, I don't want to do that. And so I didn't. Um, but yeah, this this was another fairly simple one, um, but I was, I was really f proud of the joke. Um, because I... <sighs> I really wanted to do this the day he was announced, just like the other ones, but for various, for whatever reason, um, yes, it is loss. Um, I, I saw, I wanted to, there were a couple jokes that I wanted this to be. My initial thought was an Amogus, and then scrolling through Twitter, I had already seen someone pretty much draw this but Amogus. Or just the monkey drawing an Amogus. Um, and so I was like, damn it, I can't do that anymore. I'm stealing. Um, but, yeah, I was just like, okay, what else is funny? All right, loss. All right, uh, cool. Uh, this one I did do a storyboard for. OC Donut Steel. Yes, exactly. A um, little different from the final thing. Um... I don't know why this is such low quality. I think it's it's probably a screen cap from my iPad. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do a lot of my my if I do something that's so complex it needs a storyboard. A lot of times I'll just do it on this, and then have this like propped up while I'm working, so I have it as reference. Um, also, just because if I'm just doodling and storyboarding, I can just grab this and sit on the couch and just let my mind think instead of being distracted by three giant screens um but yeah i do just love the caption loss um but yeah in case you want an idea of what my storyboards look like it's mostly just this with the little captions and sketches um uh the aspect ratio did change i don't have a storyboard map yet I need to make one for vertical videos because all of all of my stuff is storyboarded as though it's 16 9 because I'm an idiot um I did want to have an idea of storyboard but I didn't want to answer it. oh do tell um but yeah idea was very simple I don't think I do have a sketch layer here let me see what this looks like because I don't remember I'm pretty sure it's just the line, but less refined. Yeah. I'd, oh, yeah, the, the thinking finger is on a separate layer. But other than that, yeah. Um, some of the colors changed. That was cool. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu, where is the tree? So I can turn that off. And give you all a better idea. Yeah, there we go. Um... It was originally going to be this, but I thought it was too hard to read, so I... I... Are you going to say your story bored, Kevin? Um... But yeah. Uh, colors changed, because I thought it was a little hard to tell what it was. So I, I switched it up. And yeah. That, that's really about it. It was It's fairly simple, but it took me like a month, just because... I was starting to get into that burnout cycle of, like, alright, I've done three shorts in the past, like, month, and I don't know if I have the energy to do another one. Um, and then, after that, we have the Grievert short, which I think I could have executed a little better. Um, some of it was a little jank, just because I wanted it out ASAP. Um, this shot I was pretty proud of, especially, like, the moving smoke in the back. I think there's, like, two or three layers of just moving transparency to make it look like it's a thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. We had... That was shot one, because this was, I think, a three-shot short. We have... The shot of... Is any of it turned on? I, for this one, I kind of experimented with some, like, um, colored lines. I don't know if it quite got the effect that I wanted. 
Um, because it made some of it a little too hard to read at a glance. More so than I think a lot of my other stuff is good. When is Dark Souls video? Oh my god. I don't even know what I would do for that. I don't know how I'd make that funny. Um... If you've got ideas, say, shoot them my way. But I've got nothing. Um... And then this, I think I rushed a little bit, so some of the motion is a little jank. Um... But I think it works. I think it's fine. Um... Yeah. The joke was funny. I do wish, um... I wish I could have found a better version of the laugh itself, because it's it's a little process, I think. Um, I had to track down- I went through, like, an entire Muttley Laughs compilation, and just watched through it, trying to find the one that would fit the best. Uh, and I probably could have synced it up to the laugh a little better. Um, but yeah, I just, It was alright. Uh, I think it was probably the least funny- no. It was probably right above the palmy short in terms of the ones that I find the least funny. And it's more just like, yeah, look at the thing. Did really well on Facebook <laughs> for some reason. Um, just because I guess that's where all the old people who know what Muttley is are. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was alright. Uh, past that, we have, I think, the last one. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Last one that I worked on, uh, was the Wiglet one. Which, I spent so long trying to figure out how to make Wiglet and Amogus. I have, I have sketches from my iPad of trying to figure out how, how, how the hell do you draw a Mogus in a single line. Now playing Pokemon, what pokies, what pokes deserve a video. Um, if I were to do another one, uh, I don't know what I'd do for it, but probably Tinkaton. Um, yeah. Probably. That's that's the only one that comes to mind immediately. Um, I may do something that might be interesting. Just like a, a the Pokemon raid experience, and it's just a still image for like 15 minutes. <laughs> With Baxcalibur. That is fair. Baxcalibur would be fun as an excuse to animate Godzilla. Uh, I also do enjoy Tinkaton being angered by Corviknight's existing. I'm also angered by Corviknight existing. Um, but yeah, this this one this is another one that was fairly simple, but just wanted to execute. All the zooms were done in Premiere, um, so it's just a video, and then he turns into an Amogus. This was done frame by frame. I want to say I drew it out in the sketch and then erased it. So, breakdown of how I actually did this, because this is a pain in the butt. Um, what I did is I went in and I drew the full Amogus over here in the sketch. So let me turn all that off. Where is the sketch? There it is. I don't know if I actually did it fully in the sketch. I don't think I did. I think the sketch is just, yeah, the sketch is just one layer. So what I did for this is I drew the full thing like, like this. And then I went back and cut it into keyframes and erased erased his head, and then erased a little more, erased a little more, erased a little more, erased a little more, and then drew his head back on. Which is sort of cheating, but hey. It gets the effect across, and it feels smooth. Like, probably... 
and some of these you can probably tell like that pen line is uneven so it's like hey you, you added that on um but it's only there for a frame so you can't really tell and then this one is super long because you need to get the effect that he's going behind there and there you go he's become an amogus which i think visually this might be my favorite background of the year but i just really like how this background came out um I tried to go directly off of the teaser video because I was working on this the morning of his reveal when it was like the only reference we had was like the the Japanese video that was like a bunch of people like talking about his ecology like trying to figure out what the hell he is and so this this background is pretty much indirectly ripped from that of like hey there's there's a lighthouse in the background I don't fucking know um, I think this is my favorite background of the year. What is he? He's an Amogus. Exactly. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, only other little things is, um, the voice at the beginning, obviously that's me. And then the, uh, use the Amogus sound and, um, the you are like a baby watch this that was the what layer what how many layers of irony are you on which is a favorite of mine um yeah another simple one but i think in execution i thought i was thought it was really cool and then i don't know how many people caught on it caught up on it but in the thumbnail this is the amogus font like if i It's just, it's just the Amogus title, but it says Wiglet. Uh, I did download the Among Us font just for that, and it was worth it. Yes. That always screwed me up. It is just 1G. It's not full Wiggle. Uh, and that's really it in terms of shorts for the year. I just did a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, and it was fun. It was it was nice to work on. Um, oh yeah, there is an Amogus drowning. I, I did hide him there, just because I was like, yes, yeah, uh, hiding the fact that it's an Amogus joke. Um, it's fine. He'll be fine. Um, yeah, and he is he is shaped like an Amogus. He is he is uh, a little Amogus guy. Um. But that was, that was my year in animation. Um, I did a lot more uh, 3D modeling this year, which I was really proud of. Um, I can give a look real quick at some of that if y'all are interested. Um, I've, I've pretty much got my workflow down for, um, for 3D stuff and figuring out how all that stuff works. Like, I can, I can whip out something like this in a morning, apparently. Um, it's just really simple and easy and fun. I never thought I would say editing UVs is fun, but here we are. Um, this is just... I. So this one was, this one was fun. Uh, if you missed it, it was... I did basically reuse a model that I had already made of Mini Quay doing like a little cool pose that I used for a commission sheet. I basically just reused that model. Uh, and you can even see if I turn select stuff back on. Um, if I turn that off, you can see I just kind of took the legs and like shrunk them. To make him fit in the box. Um, the geometry is all mangled. I think I literally just deleted his feet. Um, and I, I did something similar for the Santa hat. Because, like, trying to fit a full Santa hat in there is not going to work. So, I mean, where is it? Delete those. The Santa hat is just squished, and all you have is, like, the back of it. Um, 
just because you're not going to be able to fit a whole thing and not have clipping. Um, there's a bunch of stuff weird with this, but hey, it visually it works. It looks like it's just me playing a present, and you got a little Santa hat on, and you can't really see enough to like... I did it at such an angle so that you don't really see the underside of it, so there you go. Uh, that's all you need for that. All it is is just a little, the same little platform that I'd used before, recolored to be snow. And bada bing, bada boom. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what else can I show off? Uh, oh, the Tamagotchi. That one was fun to work on. Come on. Let's not save. Let's close out of Photoshop so this goes faster. Mm -hmm. There's Whooper. Hi, Whooper. Uh, this one was fun to work on. Uh, did really well. And was very satisfied with it. I don't know why you are textured incorrectly. Um... Huh. He's he's looking funky. It's fine. Cheers, Roy. Um I won't be too much longer, because I do need to prepare for New Year's stuff. Um I don't know why his textures aren't showing up. Um buh, 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 buh. Flat texture. Where are your UVs? Where are your UVs, sir? Why are your UVs there? Your UVs should be there. Anyway, I, I guess his UVs broke. It's fine. Oh, I know why. That's his outline. Never mind. Hold on. I, I, I done goofed. I just gotta turn off back face calling. There we go. There's the guy. So this one, this one was fun to work on. Uh, I did. I said in the tweet that it's based on my old Tamagotchi, and that is true. Uh, I did have a little white Tamagotchi growing up that I, I took care of and loved very much. Uh, I also have I have Poochie here too. A little little green friend. There we go. Um, Griffin got me him for a Christmas gift. It was very sweet. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. Just wanted him to look good from one pose. So if you kind of go like that, he looks a little broken. Um, or like that. But yeah, it's fun to work on funny little guys like this. Um, and then this, this I was weirdly proud of. Uh, all this is, is three colors, and then I selected which ones have which, and just dragged them to whatever color works. Like these, these like, just literally the entire metal section was this, this, and this. And then you're good. It's just dragging what color you want to whatever face. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, fairly simple. Really proud of it. Papa John's. Um, I think that's more or less all I can really show off. Um, oh, I did have the Psyduck card that I made uh, for a collab. I can show that off real quick. Um, do, 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 where is it? Where are you? Hmm, where are you? Is this it? I think this is it. 
It is. There we go. So in case you were curious how I did this, pretty much the same way. Um, this is what it looks like zoomed out because I'm a hack fraud and I only need to work to the viewport. So when you click in there, it looks great. It looks wonderful. But here's what the rest of it looks like. It is a bunch of circles and the same tree model duplicated a bunch of times. Mom wanted me to let you know he's proud. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. I'm, I appreciate it very much. Um, pretty much the same thing as before. Um, some of his outlines are a little jank, just because, again, all you need to do is make sure it looks good in the viewport, because you're the only one who's going to see the full model. So, like, his hands are misaligned in the, in the shadow. Um, these, I, I had the worst time trying to make sure that this, this shading worked so that it would show up as, like, blended. Um, because I want to say in the final render, it's, like, semi-transparent and trying to make, make it both so that the transparent parts of the image are transparent and also can be faded out is a nightmare. <laughs> Thank you, cows. Thank you for... I, I will set up just for you. Your message is highlighted. Hi, cows. Um... But yeah, trying to make sure that both of those things worked correctly was horrible. <laughs> but I made it work in the end, and that's all that matters. Um, another thing is, there's, there's just a fish in the original card. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just kind of replicated it as like a sprite, and then threw it back there. Um, I don't know what kind of fish it is. It's just, just a weird purplish fish. Just hanging out in the background. And then, yeah. Uh, the reflection was fun. That's its own texture. I I did this with my right hand, because I'm a lefty. So I just tried to replicate the, the picture on the card while doing it with my right hand and a mouse. Uh, so that was fun. That's why he just looks jank as, jank as hell. Because in the original card, he also looks jank as hell. Um... Texturing the trees was a nightmare because I wanted the the texture on of the bark to be as not similar as to each other as possible. So I had to go into each of these faces and drag around their UVs. Ooh, me. It's not used to having here we go. So I need to go into each of these each of these faces and drag them along on any of these individual any of these individual little planks to get them to like kind of match up a little bit so it doesn't look all cut off some of them it worked some of them it didn't but it was it was fun to experiment around with um and yeah same thing with these trying to get these to work was a nightmare but hey i think I think the card looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Um, but yeah, that, that's more or less it that I've worked on this year. Um, your animations, a lot of 3D models. It's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, I I do need to go now so that I can make stuff for the New Year's party that I'm going to. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for sticking around. I know my output hasn't been great as a creative this past year. Um, but hopefully, going into a new year, I'll be able to sit down, focus on making stuff that I like and that you guys like. And just, just keep this ball rolling. And I can't... Yeah, quality over quantity, I'm aware. But still, making anything instead of sitting on my ass watching TikTok for, like, an entire day. <laughs> uh, I, I just need to kick myself in the butt and work on stuff. Because motivation is hard. But we're, we're working on it. We'll get there. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully y'all are looking forward to the new year. Hopefully you guys stay safe tonight if you go out and do stuff. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I had to say. Hopefully y'all are looking forward to seeing what I make. Uh, I can't promise that I'll be back back to streaming, but hopefully I can sit down and stream stuff that I like to work on and just chat. Because that's, that's, that's one thing I do want to start doing more of, is just, hey, if I'm going to sit down for like five hours and work on something, I just boot up OBS and chat with people while I do it. That is something that I would like to get better at doing, because I like chatting with you guys while I'm being creative. Um, I don't know how interesting it is to watch, but hey, could be fun. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. So I'm going to go make some food and prepare for the new year to come in. So that's all for me. Thank y'all for popping by. Gonna go do some stuff. You know it. Take care, Jim. Take care, Chris. I'll see y'all soon. So yeah, love you guys very much. Bottom of my heart, you guys mean the world to me. And hopefully, hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death with just going over stuff that I've made. Because <laughs> I know it's interesting to me, but I don't, I don't know how interesting that stuff is for the rest of y'all. But I guess it's fine. I need to stop hyperfixating on it. Anyway, I love you guys. And I hope you'll have an absolutely amazing new year. Before we go, let's, let's have one more quick look at the cat. Because I think that's what that's what y'all are here for, right? That's what y'all are here for. Uh, let me see if he'll he'll come say hi. Let's see. But right. he's very mad that I woke him up. I will let him nap now. So, for now, I guess this is a happy new year. And love y'all. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in 2023. Happy new year. <sighs> As usual, stay healthy, stay safe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.